Hey guys, this is Goji73 coming to you with a collection update. It's been a while since I've uploaded everything after the whole fiasco with YouTube and episode 10 of Godzilla and His Amazing Friends, but it's now back onto the normal routine. Big collection update and figure review after figure review. Also, if you hear this loud noise in the background, I apologize. I'm running a fan and an air conditioner in my room because it's fucking hot as hell up here. Pardon my language, but I just hate hot heat. But you get my point. Anyway, on to the normal collection update, the usual, usual stuff. Now, first off, these first two guys I got together from a friend of mine. I don't know if I should announce his name or not. But I probably will think of something to do for him in, by the time I review these guys. And so, here they are. Memorial Box at Gauss was the first one I got. This one I received as a gift from a friend, actually. Not two of them, but this one alone. But yeah, I thought it was really nice of him. And if he permits me, I'll mention him when I review Box at Gauss. So yeah, I'll just put them right here. Uh, the next one I got is also a Memorial box set figure. Also from Gamera. The box set Virez, or Virus, or I don't know. Because somebody keeps, con keeps criticizing me of how I pronounce stuff. But yeah, anyway, I got this guy too. V I'm kind of a small fan of Virus, or Virez, or Virus in the Gamera show, even though he only appeared for like 10 minutes. So yeah, I got him. And yeah. Just put him right here if he can stand. This next guy I got solely for the purpose of of finishing my Heavenly King collection. I mean, I'm not much of a fan for the figure of this guy, but like I said, he is he completes the whole set, if you know what I mean. And that is Alien Emperor, or Alien Emperor, whichever you wish to pronounce it as. But yeah, I'm not much of a fan on this guy, and I'll get to it in his review on him. But yeah, like I said, gone solely for the purpose of finishing up my Four Heavenly Kings crew. So yeah, and because he has a slight balancing problem, I'll just put him right here behind Gauss. This next thing I got on eBay was of a monster I never thought actually did exist. And so, here it is. Prisma from Ultraman Jack. Yeah, I never knew they actually did make a figure of this guy. I don't recall exactly what brand makes him. I think it's Yamakatsu, but I could be wrong. But yeah. I was shocked that they actually made a figure of this guy, so, yeah, I just picked him up for, I believe, is an okay price for him. And yeah, because he's bulky, I'll just put him right here behind, well, beside, you know who. Now, these next two guys I got, and I plan on painting them in the foreseeable future, and I used them by the special service in which I got a few other figures of mine. The first one I got is Kingstrin, from, also from Ultraman Jack. Yeah, the uh, I believe the people who made this was uh, B Club, I believe. And yeah, like I said, I do plan on painting him because right now the paint job on him looks not so good. So yeah, that's the first figure I got, which I plan on having painted. Put him back here. And the next guy I got, also from Ultraman Jack, Magnadon. And as you can see, the paint job is not so good either. So one of these days, either before or after their review, I do plan on having them painted. But until that day, here they are right now and how they look. And so let me put them back here. <laughs> And so here's the whole cast. Gauss, Virez, Alien Emperor, Prisma, Kingstrin, 
and Magnodon, as the way I've introduced them. Uh, as far as getting on to their reviews, they I don't believe I'll be going with my normal schedule of weekly, every Wednesday or whatnot. Well, with the summer break going on and current complications back at home, so... Yeah. I will review these guys eventually, one after the other as usual, so... Yeah, I look forward to them very, very soon. And so that's it. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you <laughs>